So tell me about acorn ears. So acorn ears, it, well, these are various um, acorn ears. I had a student who in January, her dad changed shifts at his job. Um, I'm not exactly sure from what shift to what shift, but she was having a real hard time in the afternoons, crying when she had never cried before in school, and in, in not just crying, sobbing and, and uncontrollably um, upset. And in talking to her mom, her mom didn't quite know what to do, but had decided that she would let her bring her acorn ears. And acorn ears was something that the girl had, in a moment of silliness, taken two acorns, outside of the corner of our school and put them on top of a yellow post and said, this is acorn ears. And then she drew a picture of acorn ears and her mom sewed one. And the original acorn ears was yellow. It, this isn't the original one. <laughs> this isn't the original one, but this is similar to it. And she brought in acorn ears and it was her stuffed animal. And everybody, all the kids loved acorn ears and it was allowed to sit with her at the circle and it was allowed to do everything. I mean, really do everything with her. She was allowed to carry it around and, and that was an under, understanding that the class had. Um, even though generally toys had to be in a certain place when the day started. And, but she was allowed to have acorn ears. And then her best friend, who was, well, you were talking about earlier, the, the person that they can, the person they can connect with and know. Their and safe also, harbor. This was her safe partner by far. They sat next to each other. They were just very close. Um, decided she wanted an acorn, an acorn ear, so she had one made for her by her mom, and hers was blue, and then... They both were carrying around acorn ears everywhere and having them sit on their laps. And then there it spread pretty quick and to all the girls. All the girls were requesting the acorn ears. They had different requests for colors, pink and black, and it, it expanded in towards always in the basic form, but the mother was very creative in putting in different patterns. So when there were like three pink ones, they had to check the tails for the patterns to see who's who, and they could do it faster than I could. Um, and that was a little bit distracting, but because it wasn't the whole class yet, it was only all the girls. Um, they were still holding them on their laps for most of the day and things like that. Uh, the boy, who was kind of like the early version of the alpha male, but very, very, very nice and very caring, decided that he would like an acorn ears. And that was actually a cool moment, too, because he asked for one, he got it, he brought it out and sat with it. And there was a moment where another boy didn't make fun of him, but said, you have an acorn ears too, and was getting ready to make a joke about it, and this other child said, yes, yeah, I love acorn ears. And not only did he not get made fun of, but then every other boy in the class needed an acorn ears, so everybody had an acorn ears, um, all different colors, or some of them the same colors, all different patterns, and it got too distracting for me, because acorn ears has a tail and can easily be swung and thrown and fight and a lot of bathroom humor started with acorn ears for some reason. I mean, probably because they're in kindergarten. I don't know why <laughs> exactly it started. But <laughs> um, so I finally said that acorn ears had to be put away completely as soon as they came in the classroom and they could take acorn ears home or sometimes they could go out to recess. I hadn't really decided, but what was neat was the class insisted at that moment when they had all put them away that the girl who had originally had acorn ears because of how she had gotten it and why she had gotten it and I'm not even sure how they knew why she had gotten it only that she it was really I don't think I ever said Dale needs this or she's allowed to have this because I don't think I had that conversation though I'm not sure but they definitely expressed that to me when I said no one's allowed to have acorn ears anymore out during this time or this time they said we're very articulate in saying Dale should be allowed to hold hers because she needs it, which I thought was very a very understanding and very aware um, stance to have because they were not only not only you I, I, not only were they not fighting me about putting away acorn ears, which this class had a lot of strong personalities, which I like, but they were able to recognize that it was okay for someone else to have an exception made for them because they thought it was an important reason. And, and, and in that, it was a caring reason, I thought. It wasn't just, it wasn't something physical that they could see she needed something to help her. It was an emotional need, which I was very proud of them for recognizing.